Hi there, I thought I would like to share the first day of Christmas with you. And we're gonna jump right into shopping. <laughs> I didn't really know how to transition. So I thought I'd transition with this beautiful piece of Fenton that I found. And here was also a spode plate. You can tell it's spode because of the Santa at the top of the Christmas tree, just a little dish. And they were restocking. And at first I thought this was some um, Mexico pottery, but then when I picked it up, I realized it was a Otagiri mug that had ducks on it. And I thought, oh, here's some more Mexico pottery, but I felt it was not you know, Tonala or Talavera pottery. And then I spied this cute little fairy lamp. It's in the shape of an owl. And I figured it was a fairy light because it had a hole on the top of it. And I thought it was super duper cute. I like orange. I thought someone else might like an orange owl. This was for sale, and I thought this would be great if Jenny was smaller, but she's getting pretty tall, so I don't think she would fit in that, but that's gonna be a great gift for somebody. And they had these little figurines. I found a sheep, and then somewhere else I found a, another little collection of these. If they had more than one of these, I probably would have bought um, th these, this, <laughs> I would have bought that but there was just the one and they had some teacups. So I was seeing if I could um, see any names or anything on them that would draw my attention. And they had these four uh, teacups that were Fire King, but I did not see any saucers. I thought this trivet was pretty. It didn't have a name on the back of it. It just had a price sticker from the previous store it was sold at. I thought that was pretty though. Kind of bohemian, southwestern looking. And then they had this set of china, but either they put the price tag on the maker's mark or these weren't marked. Sometimes that I run into that, that there's old china and it doesn't have the maker's mark on the back. This plate was very old. The graphics were very worn. And I thought this was funny. This was a huge bowl. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Burnt by Steve. And then there was another one that was just Steve. And here's the other little collection. There was a baby on a, on a rocking horse and then they had some other little animals. This was a pretty picture. I think it was um, a hobbyist piece probably. They did a nice job painting the flowers on that and the handle was nice. I think you could have used these as place card name holders at the table or if you were having a buffet, you could write down what the dish was and set those out. This was a cute vintage made in Japan planter. It still had the made in Japan sticker on the bottom of it. I had gotten it off the top shelf, but I brought it down to show you what it looked like. And then I also noticed on that second shelf that they had a whole bunch of this china, fine china, happy home in the rosebud pattern. They had the creamer and sugar and a whole bunch of cups and saucers. You would just need your teapot or your coffee pot. Then this was a Pigeon Forge pottery mug. And I did have this in my cart for a little bit, but the more I looked at it, it had a lot of utensil wear on the inside and then the side, I didn't show it very well, had a lot of wear to it. And I was afraid I wouldn't be able to clean it up properly. So I did change my mind on that. I think this is a daisy and button pattern. And I have picked up these type of tissue de decorations before. If you remember, I got some Thanksgiving ones. And I thought the bells were just not probably too much not really high in demand, so I, I did leave those there. Now this, you, you might be surprised at why I bought this, but I really liked the looks of it. And it is Avon, and it's plastic, so it would be a light shippable item. And I really liked the style of the cat, and I thought someone else might also. So that's why I got that. Uh, here was a whole stack of vintage, most likely I would guess made in Japan, painted, small bowls. They had some Moriage decoration to them. There were quite a few of them. So I was looking through this stack to see what was on the bottom. And I think that these were restaurant wear. For some reason, when I first looked at the bottom, I thought, oh, these are restaurant wear, but I could be wrong. I saw this folder or binder and Jenny collects Pokemon cards. So I thought this would be a good spot for her to put some of her Pokemon cards in. And I thought this was a cute little candle holder. 
with a little ladybug on it. Here was one vintage ornament, <laughs> mocking me for leaving that beautiful bag of ornaments the other day. And I thought this was interesting. It had the spoon rest and there was also a little bowl that went with it. But unfortunately, the little bowl had uh, some chipping on the rim. I think I pointed out to you right there, there was some chipping. But that was a nice set though. And then I found, I found this and I did think about it and I did look up comps and some sell for $12 and then some sold for $30. And I don't, I mean, it was neat. I thought it was funny and it had golf, golf, um, and see one fell out. I was bad golf clubs in it, but I did pick it up and put it back in. And then I thought this was an interesting artistic clock. Very skinny. If you didn't have a lot of room on your wall. Alrighty, here we go. On the first day of Christmas, my for Christmas gave to me. <laughs> what is he going to give you? This is actually, oh, this is actually, um, like, like, oh, is it sticky? It's sticky, um, wait. Or peel, peelable. Oh, there you go. Did it. Oh. oh. We thought it was going to be stickers. I thought it was, I said that. It's a little ornament. Oh, that is adorable. It's a little ornament with his face. Oh, it's wooden. And then can you flip it over and show the back? There's nothing on the back. That's really cute. Excellent. Yeah. It's definitely a rooster chicken. That's crazy. Looking. That'll be easy to pack. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's actually right. I don't know. Is that like a paper mache, maybe? I don't know. I guess it's not web to be. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> it's a chicken duck. Yeah, it's... Oh, look above it, though. It led me. No, oh, it led. It's like ducks. come over here. And it's not broken. Nice. Too fun sponge me. <laughs> Let me see it. <laughs> Two ninety nine. That looks good. Somebody peeled the sticker to see what the mark is. And then was. they were like, "There's no mark on it. It can't be Fenton." No, I'm gonna. Little did they know. And I came along and was like, "Oh, look!" As you can see, I've joined Jocelyn at the Big Goodwill, and we are trying to find some treasure here. There was this piece that I found another piece with the same signature. So I don't know if it was a student piece that she signed both both works of pottery, but I, I found that interesting. This, I thought, oh, look. And then I realized it was the ironwood headless bird from my last trip. I thought this was a cute little fox coffee mug. I thought that was sweet. On an end cap, I found this rooster figurine. I feel it's an older piece. I like the style of the rooster. It does have a little bit of wear on it, but I really like the colors and the looks of the rooster itself. So I decided to get that. Jocelyn thought that these might be made in China. We both agreed that they were nice pieces and she didn't want them. So I decided to take them for myself. Right when we were leaving an aisle, I looked down and I spied this figurine. So I decided to take that. I really liked the the looks of it and the simplicity of the figurine. But look at that. That's crazy. I wonder how much. I, I bet it's really heavy. It's actually not that bad. No. Looks like it's old though, right? Mm -hmm, it does. I don't know anything about tools. So Me neither. Right there for somebody who does. Yep. I'm just going to film you That's shopping. That's fine. And then we can exchange videos because I mostly just film you and then we <laughs> have videos of ourselves. There we go. In the box. I think the box has protected them. This is so much well, better. Not chipped either. I know. This is better than the carnage that we found. <laughs> that was terrible. Did you got it? all in the bag together. I do. That's it. And I found this piece. I was amazed that it was not chipped up or repaired in any way. So I went and showed it to Jocelyn. Ooh, fancy. Oh, is that chipped? No, no, that's good. Okay, I like it. All right. In this bin, they just had the same toy over and over again. <laughs> I was just seeing what they were. And down here, they had a set of china. And I really thought that the pattern was neat. It kind of looked like wood. It was neat. I didn't want to buy it. I was just, you know, investigating it. But isn't that a neat looking design on it? So, and it, it still came in the box. So I would, I would think it was still in good shape. I thought that was neat. And then here were some vintage salt and pepper shakers. They were $3.99. Usually the salt and pepper shakers have been marked 
but maybe these were higher because they were older. And then I didn't do a really great job of filming this area, but they had a little stack of some vintage uh, china, so I was looking through it. I thought this mug was funny. And then here was a tiny little set that it could be used for demi toss or espresso or a child's tea set. I thought it was sweet and it was still in the original box. And then I found this figurine. It did have the incised mark of Japan on the back of her. And so I left that there later down so she wouldn't fall over. And then I was like, what is this? And then I realized it was a kitty litter box. I was like, ah! So I decided not to touch it anymore. This is an electric knife. What is that? I think it's an electric knife. My uncle had one. What? So you plug in this knife and then it kind of like, oh, yes, I know yeah, my uncle saying. had one of these. Here was a fish paperweight, but unfortunately the mouth of the fish was badly chipped. So I did leave that there. I brightened up my camera a little bit so you could see the colors on it. It still was a nice piece. And I thought this was interesting. I wonder if these are expensive the first time around, but here was one at the Goodwill. And let's see what, oh, here I'm just showing you the shelves because I do tend to just hop from piece to piece to piece that I look up and I thought, well, I need to, and I've said this before, I need to show the shelves and I tend not to. So here was some acrylic yarn in a bag and just some other little things on the shelf here. And I found a vintage Woody Woodpecker puzzle. I just have a thing for puzzles lately. I don't know what my problem is. <laughs> But I'm gonna put this one together, make sure all the pieces are together. And if the Mighty Mouse puzzle hasn't sold yet, I probably will list both of those together. Here was a Fisher Price Play Family House. When we would go visit my Graham, she had some Fisher Price. Uh, she had the airplane and the airport and the gas station. So that reminded me of playing in with my sister when we were little. This one had a lot of wear to it. Then I found a little pony decided to put the pony in the garage there. And this wall map that I'm gonna show you in a second would be great for a kindergarten classroom or preschool classroom or your homeschool classroom. Uh, and then I found this tin. I wondered to myself if this was an old, old tin or more of a newer tin, but I did not look it up at the time. And then I found this made in Portugal uh, basket. It had no chips or cracks and I really liked the looks of the flowers. So I decided to add that to my cart. So you it's true. You literally have to It'll be like that one. It'll be like that one puzzle was like about 75 pieces. <laughs> That's what it said on the box. And there were. Okay, I'm going to do it. Here's what the inside looks like. Unless you've already seen Jocelyn's video. You already know what it looks like. <laughs> Coming up next is some tea and the haul. It's the first day of December and we are going to go for Feel New Organic, a clean fusion of aniseed, fennel, and cardamom. Herbs to help you feel like new for mornings after the night before. Naturally caffeine-free and ethically sourced, 100% organically grown ingredients. Infuse for up to 15 minutes. Okie dokie. Let's see what it smells like. It's... It kind of smells like Indian spices, which is probably, I would guess, maybe the cardamom. It smells pretty good. Let's try it out. All right, here we go. It's okay. It doesn't taste terrible. I think I'll finish it. It doesn't have a really strong taste. I can smell it more than I can taste it. It's pretty good. It's a good start to the advent. I feel new already. Called, 
It's called Feel New. Are you still recording? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. Here are the two paperweights and the swan that I got at the Big Goodwill with Jocelyn. These are really, really pretty. The bottoms have a little fake uh, felt bottom to them. And this one, when I took the price tag off, is completely clear on the bottom. Here is the basket that is made in Portugal and the chicken. The chicken does have a chip here, right there. And there is also a chip right there. But I really like the style of the chicken. I thought it was pretty, I like the colors. And this basket I liked because I thought it looked like poinsettias. Here is the Fenton piece and the NAO figurine. I really liked how this was just simple, just a girl standing there. I've sold this size figurine before, not the same figure, not the same girl, but I just think it's a nice simple piece and I really like the pink and white on this Fenton piece. It's a little bit darker in real life. It does not have the Fenton mark on the bottom, so I believe it is prior to the 1970s. I believe this is a hobbyist piece just because of the style of the paint. There is no marking on the bottom. It is a fairy light, as you can see. Isn't that adorable? There is a tiny little chip of paint right here. It has wax residue, so someone actually used a wax, a wax candle, which is kind of scary. I use these in all of my uh, fairy lamps. They're just from the dollar store. I picked up this Avon bubble bath. It's from 2019. I picked it up because I like the style of the cat. It has a very mid-century modern look to it and the stickers and the collar sticker that goes around the neck are in very good condition. This will be an interesting challenge. Um, as you saw in the video, this brand is from the 1930s and the puzzle pieces are crazy hard looking but it'll be fun to see if one the puzzle pieces are all there and how it fits together and looks in the end when i saw this puzzle i knew i needed to pick it up uh jenny's watched woody woodpecker and finds him pretty funny i used to watch woody woodpecker when i was little this box is from 1976 it's in really good shape much better shape than the mighty mouse puzzle so i will put it together to see if all 100 large pieces are there before I list it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see ya.